Hey guys, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a little different. I normally talk about crocheting, but I was uh, sent an email and Tina 3D Printer Company reached out to me and asked if I would like to review their printer. Now, I don't know anything about 3D printing <laughs> other than what it does. I've never used one before. They said this was very beginner friendly. Um, like even a child can do it. No kidding. So I'm up for the challenge. I said, yep, send it to me. Let's see what we can do. Okay. So as you can see, the box is very small. This is a tabletop. Here's my hand. This is the box. So we are going to open this up and get everything started. And let's see just how long it takes for me to set it up. Okay, guys, I received these two bags in the box. It's, it's some tools that you're going to need. Glue, SB card, or SD card, USB uh, stick. And then looks like stickers. And we have already downloaded the um, printer point on my phone so that we can print something up. Now this is the printer. Look at how small and compact that is. So this is the filament thread. This is the filament that came with the packaging. This took me exactly seven minutes to set up. So while you're here, we're gonna turn this on. And I think right now it's gonna warm up. It has to warm up to like 270 degrees. There goes the light. You heard the clicking. So the filament goes on, you do it under, oops, I'm sorry, it goes under, and then you thread it through here. Very, very easy. You thread it through right there till it stops, till you can't thread it anymore. And then you turn it on. Right now it's saying it's warming up. And this is the Tina 2S model. And it has an app that I will show you if I can. So while this is still sh warming up, I wanted to tell you that the app Polo Print also gives you the option of doing an AI design. So if you click on that top AI button when you're in the app, you can literally just put in a search engine what you want. Now remember, this is a, like, I don't wanna say micro size, but this is a smaller version of a 3D printer. So you can't do anything, you know, larger than this. I'm sure that there are so, some programs that would allow you to put them, you know, make them in pieces. But right now for a demonstration, I am just going to stick to the first thing I'm gonna make, which is a nameplate for, uh, for a bracelet. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, the nameplate is done. Make sure I have it right side up, which I don't. <laughs> uh, there you go. The nameplate is done. That took 11 minutes, 11 and a half minutes. Then I put in for a nameplate and this is Happy to Hook Creations. So this was made in one hour and six seconds. Now the filament that came with this 3D printer was only white. I would love it if I could get this in another color. So I was doing some research online. I did find lots of filaments that you can buy. This is a PLA, very reasonably priced. You can make several items with just one disc of PLA filament. Just check around. You might even have some at a local craft store. Sometimes, um, you know, you've got to watch for the size. You don't want it too big because there's a certain size that fits in there. They'll give you all the specifications of that when you open it up out of the box. Um, Amazon, Walmart, and even our Hobby Lobby were three that I found that were close to me that have these filaments. And they're like one is maybe seven or eight bucks. It can go all the way up to like 40, depending on what you're looking for. They've got solid colors. They've got rainbow colors and like 
pastel rainbow, bright rainbow, fall, you know, like a, like an, almost like, um, an ombre effect when you print something up. I think it would be awesome to print up a 3D dragon. So yeah, it's really, it, I mean, it only took me seven minutes. Okay. I've never put a 3D printer together at all. It was absolutely. <laughs> Okay, we just made another name plate. I'm taking it off. This part is magnetic, so it goes on fairly easily. Oops. Okay, all you need to do, let's see if I can get this done with one hand here. So this is easy to come off, you just have to bend it. Did you guys hear that noise? So it should say, can you read that? It's hard to see because it's in white. Um, I have since ordered more filaments in different colors. I can't wait till those get here so we can experiment a little bit more. But this plate is very um, flexible. And when you have something on there, you just, should just peel right off of there. Hold on. No, hold on. Let me. All right. So you peel it. Comes right off. And then this is this part. The bottom part you don't need. And there you go. You got a name plate. And again, this only takes the nameplates only take about 11 minutes, but there's a lot that you can experiment with as well. And you just take it's um, I know that they have like little spatulas you can buy. There's extra tools that um, you can purchase to remove larger items off of this plate. And when you are done, you see how that's it just goes right back on there. Okay, and you just line it up. And I've done quite a few items and still have uh, quite a bit of filament left. So it does go a long way depending on the project that you're doing. Um, definitely, you know, if this is something that you're interested in, you should definitely check it out. I will have a link in the description box below. And also um, any discount links that I receive or codes will be on the screen for you. 
If you guys are definitely interested, you should check it out. It's really easy to operate. If you have children, this is a great tool for them, great experiment, you know, just a fun project for them to work on without too much uh, difficulty. And thanks to Antina for sponsoring this video.